So let's do question number seven. A certain number of men can complete a piece of work in six k days, where k is a natural number. By what percentage should the number of men be increased so that work can be completed in five k days? So here k doesn't matter actually, okay? Because they are asking you to calculate the percentage increase in the number of men. So let's say we can we can assume that okay, a certain number of men can complete a work in six days. And how many more men, or uh, like you know, what is the percentage increase in the men so that work can be completed in five days? So K doesn't make any difference here. Always keep that in mind. And this question is actually based on a uh, time and work topic, and it comes under the group work concept. You have a group of people working, correct? So uh, before we solve this particular question, I want to discuss with you the the basic concept of how to deal with. Group work situations, okay. Group of men working a job, okay. So let's say you have a group of men. Let's say M one men are there, and they are working for D one days to complete a job or complete a work. Let's keep it as W. This is the work they are completing. This group of men, M one men, and they are working it for D one days. They are completing W work or a group like this work is completed. The same work. Okay, the same amount of work is also completed by a different set of men. Okay, let's say in that set there are M two men, and they will work for D two days. Okay, they will complete this amount. The same work is completed by a different group of people in a different time. But what is common in this scenario is both the groups are completing the same amount of work. That is the condition. Okay. So when you have a situation like this, where you have a group of people completing the same amount of work, so what you can equate here is we can equate the total work they have done. Okay, so work is what you can equate here, W, the total work. So here in this scenario, we can see that the both the group have the same men. So the rate of work done by a man is same in both the group, right? We are assuming like that the rate at which a man. Uh, Do the job in a day is the same. So I'm assuming, and let's say the rate is equal to R. I'm just giving you a variable here, R. That is the rate of a man, or how much work a man does in a day. Okay, it's R units. R units per day. That's the rate of a man. R units per day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to equate what is the amount of work done by the group, first group. So there are M one men here. So in one day, one man will do R units. So M one men will do M one times R in a day. This is the work done by this group of men in a day, and they are doing it for D one days. So total work done is gonna be so it's for one day for D one days you multiply by D one. So this is the work done by the first group. The same amount of work is also done by the second group, right? So what is the amount of work done by M two men in one day? It's same. They have the same rate of work. R units per day, right? That's the rate of work here. So one man is going to do R units. So M two men will do M two times R units in a day, and they are working for D two days. So it's you multiply by D two, and you can see that the R is common. You can cancel it out here. So the rate of a man here doesn't affect because both the group are having a group of men, right? So they have the same rate. So that is not affecting your final answer. So let's say if you have a question with one with a group of men and other with a group of women, then in that case you should include or consider the factor of rate per day rate of men, man as well as a woman. But here in this case you don't need to consider because you can see the R is getting cancelled here. So the equation we could do here is nothing but M one D one is equal to M two D two. So most of you are aware of this concept, man days concept, right? So whenever you have a group. Of people working the same work, you can always equate M one times D one should be equal to M two times D two. So if you remember this, you don't need to uh, like you know derive this at this moment. When you have a question like this, you can directly apply this particular concept. M one D one is equal to M two D two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assume apply that here. So you have a group of uh, men here, so it's gonna be M one. Times number of days they are doing to complete is gonna be six k is equal to 
you have another group let's say m2 and they are working how many days 5k days to complete so you can see that k is going to get cancelled and i can say m2 is going to be equal to m1 times 6 by 5 or i could say it's going to be equal to 1.2 m1 so m2 is 1.2 m1 so definitely there is an increase right there is an increase well, what is the percentage of increase you can say so it's very clear it's a 20 percentage increase right See, how do you calculate the percentage increase? So, percentage increase is nothing but value change upon the initial value times 100. That's how you calculate percentage increase, right? See, what is the initial value? Initial value is M1. This is your initial value. And the new value is going to be M2, which is equivalent to 1.2 M1. This is the new value. So, the value change here is 0.2 m1 is your value change and the initial value is m1 so you multiply by 100 you could see this is nothing but 20 percentage or you don't need to do this much okay i just explained you how to calculate the percentage increase here so try, you should be able to figure out from this 1.2 m1 right so that means this is nothing but m1 plus 0.2 m1 right that's how you get 1.2 m so that means this is the initial value you are adding. 0.2 is nothing but 20 percentage. 20 percentage more. So the percentage increase is 20 percent. You can also analyze this and get to the answer instead of solving like this. So your answer is option C is the right answer in this question.